Welcome to Raw Money, my testimony. My name is Ruben and today I want to talk about my testimony when it comes to relationships. When it comes to, to relationships, um, uh, I want to talk not only about uh, the relationship with between people, but the way we relate to everything, pretty much. Uh, our job, um, our food, our clothing, um, our day-to-day -day actions, the, our fitness, the way we relate to people, uh, and to pretty much the way we relate to, to, to our environment. Um, I, 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 it, why I want to talk about relationships is because um, surprisingly uh, now I came to realize how my relationship with myself was it wasn't strong, wasn't good, and as a matter of fact, uh, I didn't have a good relationship with with my self image and and with myself, with my self esteem, if you want it, my self worth, and and that pretty much affect every relationship that I have with my environment, the relationship that I have with other people, and and with my job. And, and pretty much with everything. It's not that uh, uh, I, I honestly I I done really well and I'm really happy where I am. And but I, I'm great. But I, uh, I I if I knew better uh, what my relationship was before, I, I'm pretty sure I would be in a better spot. That being said. It's all part of the evolution, and it's all part of the way I, I, I was related, or the way the universe relate with myself. It's part of my evolution. Everything has been perfect, but is it good for for me to share it? So probably, if you're listening, uh, you might realize, uh, realize, re see what you realize, uh, things that I didn't see before. Uh, such as um, understanding if that I was not ever ever really thought or to relate to myself first to I, I, I hope that makes sense nobody told me or nobody stressed enough the importance of, of the relationship with my being with myself before my relationship with the outside world but my relationship with the my inner world and I was ever 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 aware of it and and during many time during a long time <laughs> during many time during a long time I I pretty much uh, um, mistreat myself by overthinking and, and overthinking made me a, 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 a thinking, a very thinking. So a thinking, very thinking, very weak. A king with no power. Too much thinking. And that thinking really was detrimental to my own relationship because I went into the the process of letting the inner voice take over and usually the inner voice is it's negative something that I wonder at what time that happened I don't know but uh, I always wonder why are we so negative or why that inner voice is always negative I don't know how it happens or, or, or where it comes from but usually your inner voice tend to be very judgmental and so that overthinking 
was always present and 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 it wasn't always bad uh, uh, it wasn't like I, I i have a a really bad time no I, I i as i told you i pretty much have achieved every goal that i set to achieve myself but however however um i also let and tolerate a lot of uh, mistreatment because I, I I wasn't aware of I wasn't putting myself first and and that's a good starting point uh, do please I, my experience always always the first relationship you ever have the first relationship you ever have is with yourself you are the only constant or oh, I was the only constant in every single experience and I was neglecting myself over and over again I, I always was putting somebody else before me in the sake of being a good person or, or in the sake of this idea of caring caring for other people of being nice or, or probably, probably if I don't know where it comes from, because many of of, of the way we relate uh, to the world, the, our relationship with the world comes from from our childhood, and it comes from our subconscious. So I don't know what happened when I was a kid. Oh, I know. Right now I know, but it's another. It will be another video, and I don't want to go into it. But I know. Uh, <laughs> I know what happened when I was a kid that that define in a way or create negative habit patterns that that affect me over and over again during 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 my life and, and it was subconscious. So just on total I'll say last year I, yeah around one year, last year, probably one year and a half, uh, I start what people call the process of awakening and thank God it happens because it has made me more aware of myself and, and has kind of removed any, any excuse if you want to call it like there is not more excuses but now it's time to go and, and, and actually face myself and my creation so now I'm looking at what I created during all these years and I'm going back to, to see what to, to make sense of it to, to, so I'm breaking it down so I can help people by healing myself and that's what I'm doing right now which is that's why I'm, I'm doing this video so the first thing your relationship any relationship the most important relationship you ever have is with yourself so please uh, start that relationship with yourself, start knowing yourself because you cannot ever, ever, ever love anything that you do not know. And the only way to get to know something is experiencing it. And we live in a, in a world where our attention is constantly directed outside so we neglect it constantly the inner side so now if you want to start uh, what I have to do to start knowing myself to start making sense of what was what was happening in my world so I have to start slowing down and going inside and, and I, I start that process of realization or that relationship with myself through meditating, through looking for help to understand. I went, searched, listened to people and, 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 and I started studying, um, learning to, to make sense of myself. And, and in that process, I met amazing people that have helped me to understand. And one thing that I want to share that is super crucial is 
understanding your design. Um, to be aware, if you don't understand your design, you're gonna abuse yourself. It's very simple. If I this is this is a cup. If I don't understand the use of this cup, I'm gonna use it to to hammer things, and I'm gonna damage it. So uh, understand your design. You your design comes from from your date of birth and your name. Your name, as the Bible said. Um, Name is man, man is name, something like that. But uh, your name is crucial, crucial. Your date of birth is crucial. You, you, you are here for a very important reason, and it's not a coincidence. And your creator, the higher intelligence, put certain attributes and characteristics uh, uh, that can be expressed in numbers, through numbers, uh, through your date of birth and to your letters, to symbols. The, the attributes, the energy, the vibration that the higher self put on yourself is, is expressed through symbols that we call, oh, oh, that, uh, that we call le uh, numbers and letters. So once you figure out your design, then, then, then your relationship uh, with yourself is going to start changing. You start a process of it's, it's kind of, you see when, when you look, at, when you watch the movies of superheroes and, and the new superhero can fly, got it? And, and, the, and he doesn't know how to fly, he doesn't know how to use this uh, superpower and then he, he starts flying and, and falling and oh, I can get it. So it's kind of the same, when you, when you find out your, your attributes, your characteristics, uh, uh, you start a, a process of practicing to master in them and, and, and once you master them, once you start uh, uh, you become the superhero if you want to call it, you start flying because you, you get the higher um, you get connected with a higher intelligence or with God if you want, you get the, the mind of God on yourself now um, I hope this makes sense. So the first, the first thing for relationships is, is knowing yourself, because the most important relationship you ever have is with yourself, and that relationship is gonna determine any other relationship. But a very important thing that I, that I, which is what I'm mentioning, in the process of realizing, 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 real eyes. Um, it's kind of a three steps process because the first process is as I told you is when you get to understand your design you are understanding it right? you, you are under that definition of those attributes that you got so you understand it you are under standing the attributes but you are under so the process start when you go inside yourself to experience those attributes going back to for instance your your life experience and looking at your life experience going back and looking at your at your experience from a different perspective because you already now you have a, a new a new point of view which is the new knowledge the new the new learning so now you look at, at, at your life experience with awareness. So you start the process of inner stand because you start in, intimating with yourself. You start loving yourself because now you're understanding yourself through the experience. It's not just going back, but day to day uh, you, you start um, intimate, intimating with yourself because you, you actually start loving yourself because now you, 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 you know yourself and you can only love you can only love something that you know no you can only yes you can only love something that you know and you can only know it through the experience so you experience yourself every day 
But the funny thing is this, for years I was experiencing myself every day not knowing my design. It's crazy. <laughs> the, the more I think is like, man, why I didn't ever ask or question my design. When I look around and everything has a specific design, I never wonder what was my design, why was I here? So, relationships, the process of relating to something is a three-step three step process. The first one is understanding. Under, you are under. You get the definition. In this case, you get your attributes. You're under, so you go inner standing you go to inner stand you go inside and you start intimidating having uh, sharing an experience with yourself uh, with a new knowledge with a new point of view with a new awareness which is knowing your design and 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 then comes the final step of the relationship which is overstand and overstanding um, is the point where, where, where you go beyond any judgment and, and you stop thinking. So you take not thoughts. You do not think because you feel and, and feeling is seen. So you start, you just feel. I'll give you an example. Um, I play soccer all my life and, and, and playing soccer it goes through the same process you, you go through, through a level you go to a level and you are under that level yes so you, you want to go to let's say you want to play professional so you are under that level so when I was here under I look at professional and, and I look at them like they the like the special thing so they were I was under them then I went inner I start playing professionally and then I start intimidating with that environment and I got into it and then after staying there I went over I overstand that environment and in some way, I, I start mastering soccer because uh, a, I don't think when I play soccer. I just play and feel it and enjoy it. So the process of mastering anything has that under, inner, and overstand. And overstanding is when you stop thinking and start feeling so that's the process of relationships. So it's the same when you relate to, to your loved one. You, you meet this person and, and, and then you meet her and, and you have a perception which has been manufactured. So it's kind of a, somebody gave you a definition. So you are under that definition because you have a stereotype, if you want to call it, of that person. Oh, she is beautiful, she is this, but you, you don't really know her. You like her, you are attracted to her physically, or you are attracting, attracting, attracted to him physically, but you don't know her, so you have a, a manufactured perception, a superficial. You are under, so you got that perception for somebody. Somebody gave you that definition. So let's say the media or, or, or your experience give you that definition. And then you go inside that relationship. You start intimidating with that partner. And, and then you start knowing him or knowing her, uh, sharing uh, activities, sharing intimacy. And, and then you start getting to know that person. Unfortunately, most of the relationships uh, that I know and that I've seen and that I, that I experience don't go beyond inner standing. Most of them, some of them even you go in, in, in the process of intimidating 
or having int intimacy, sometimes you don't even you don't get to the process of inner standing because there is not that connection. It's always disconnected. Even even though you have sex and, and, and you have great trips and you have great pictures and, and, and you socially look like a great couple, many times or most of the time they don't have that inner standing connection. It's very superficial because because we live in a very superficial synthetic society and and we kind of normalize that lifestyle so it, it is normal for us to be superficial it is very unnormal for 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 us to be real it's crazy man like i i i'm telling you i have met people that tell me that i'm very real being honest or, or things like that and i'm i don't i I don't see it like that. I, I'm surprised when somebody tell me those things because I don't see it from in a different way. I I I I've never been a part of groups because um, my process of life didn't ever took me into that type of social groups of uh, university friends, school friends, or or the groups that stay together for a long time. I I I've never been part of those groups. So. I never had, never had the need to to stand any superficial relationship. So if I don't feel good with somebody, I, I just move on because I don't have any it, attachment or commitment to to anybody. I would say except for for the people that I want to be committed to, which is my family. But unfortunately. The relationships between men and women usually even relationships with family which I'll say with families huge are very superficial they never go beyond understanding if you think about uh, the relationship with your parents it's all based in roles so they play the role of a father or a mother and you play the role of a kid or but they never get to to really know each other so i only got to really change that dynamic with my mother when we immigrate to canada because uh, i immigrate first and then when she uh, came to canada um, i start seeing her as a friend because we were the only two people here, so it, it, I, we became really good friends, and then that understanding, our relationship, moved from understanding to inner and inner standing. And I will say, it, and through inner standing, I got to know the human. So she, she is not only my mom, but I can see her as a, an amazing person, as an amazing human. So now I overstand. Now it goes beyond any word because there is no judgment. So with relationship between a man and woman, love relationships, friend relationships usually stay in the understanding uh, stage. It doesn't go over the inner standing because, because I, I would say because of lack of awareness. That's why I hope this is helpful. And, and you get to realize that uh, relation, relationships is a three-step three, three process, under, inner, and over stand. So usually relationships uh, stay uh, uh, in the first stage, under standing. If you go in, into inner standing, uh, that's the dangerous point because that's where, where by intimidating, you are the risk of, of acquiring all the negative or positive dispositions from the other person. And, and then you can transform or deform, you can transform positively or deform negatively according to who you're dealing with. But the inner 
the inner stage, the inner understanding, it is it is a very dangerous place because that's where where if you're not aware, you can be highly affected by the by the intimidating by the experiencing of that relationship. That's where self-esteem and damage can come. That's where abuse happens, and 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 usually it never goes beyond inner standing. If 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 a relationship goes beyond inner standing, that relationship will be very solid if they stay as as a couple. Sometimes it might go the relationship might go over standing after a break, after breaking up or something like that because they have to keep the relationship and they go into a, a relationship most of friends it goes beyond love. It's a love relationship, but it turns into something different. So um, that's my testimony when it comes to relationships. I hope uh, this is useful. That's my testimony. This is raw money. And my name is Ruben. So please keep in mind relationships is a three stage process under standing you get the definition inner standing you go and experience that you intimidate with the uh, other part and then you get to create your own definition but the inner standing is also dangerous keep in mind because you might be if you're not aware you might be affected by by a negative disposition and then comes the overstanding which is the third stage the overstanding when you stop judging and thinking and you accept the things as they are you master them and you relax you relax you enjoy enjoying them and 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 you love yourself so the most important is your relationship with yourself please do under learn your design inner experience your design look do your design and overstand master yourself so you are a single standing column of way from <laughs> so you are a single standing column of wave form energy thank you very much